Hey guys, Ruffin Gaming back, bringing you another video today for our Blueprint Weapon Series. And today we'll be covering the Warsaw Blueprint for the AK-47, as well as the Security Detail Bundle that was released in shop yesterday, along with the update at the end here of Season 3. So you can see here on screen, this bundle was available in shop for 1,200 COD points released yesterday. And what we got with this Blueprint Bundle was the Protectorate Bale Skin, which gives you a Milsim modern spetsnaz fsb milsim skin for bale finally we also get a very nice warsaw blueprint for the ak-47 turning it into a more modernized looking akm you can also make some different variations out of this now that we have a much nicer and newer cleaner looking ak blooper in the game we have the slow operator equip for bale rush into action calling card the valor bale emblem as well as the bruiser spray so the main two Things to take out of this are the Protectorate Bale Skin as well as the Warsaw Blueprint here for the AK-47. So let's go ahead. We're going to back out. I'm going to show you how to build this blueprint from scratch, how it compares to the other AKs in the game, some different variations we can make of this, as well as we're going to review the Bale Skin. So we'll go ahead and back out and jump right into it. So here is the final design of the blueprint. Now, I'll definitely be showing the recoil control patterns as well as the gameplay in multiplayer for this weapon at the end of the video also. So first off, I want to back out and I want to start out with the operator skin for Bale because this is actually one of my favorite operator skins available in-game along with the new Milsim type operator skin. So if we go to, this is the previous one we had for Bale, which was the Darkness that came out in the beginning of Season 3, which was the most Milsim version of his skin yet uh, along with the older Spetsnaz one which just wasn't quite up to par to where I wanted it to be so now we have the protectorate skin here for Bale which gives you the modernized Spetsnaz FSB warfighter so we'll go ahead and select that and now if we whoops if we go ahead and back out and look at this skin more in depth what we have here is again a very milsim representation of the Spetsnaz operator versus all the other skins that we've had which are just most of them are pretty ridiculous for a Spetsnaz, so it's good to finally see a Milsim Operator skin in-game for the Spetsnaz. That's pretty accurate. So what we have here is some major changes, obviously, the helmet. We have something very similar to an LZSH, LZSH Light helmet. So if you have any Tarkov fans out there, uh, very similar to that. Um, we also have the contacts. He's got what looks like a flashlight on the top right of his helmet there. And then, obviously, he has the, the heavier jacket on, his plate carrier with the tactical rig on there as well. We've got the knife on the back of the backpack. He's got his pistol holster. And then he's also got these, what looks like the digital camo or camouflaged pants on there with a the knee pad. So really great looking skin for Bale. This is definitely one of my top skins in the game right now. I really love the attention to detail here. And again, to finally get an actual modernized skin here for bale that's more milsim representative of what a spetsnaz soldier is and i'll show the comparison on screen to an actual spetsnaz soldier and it looks like they basically took that picture and modeled this after it which i think looks great i'm, I'm glad they did it now all we need is the actual version of that ak that you see there in that photo some attachments to make that and we'll be all good to go but let's go ahead and back out and we'll start we'll look at the weapon here for the warsaw blueprint so First off, what I'm going to do is go to my blueprints. So you can see all the different blueprints here I have for the AKs. And now here we have the Warsaw, which again came with this bundle for the security detail. So we'll go ahead and select this and we'll strip it down. So we have the base blueprint here for the Warsaw. Now, obviously, there's some enormous cosmetic changes to this blueprint, but let's go ahead and build it from scratch first. And then we'll get into that and compare it to the other AKs. So First off, the first attachment that this blueprint comes with is going to be the muzzle brake. This is going to assist with the recoil stabilization, the cons here, the ADS speed, as well as the aiming stability. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now, just some things to know here. The muzzle brake is very similar to the sand sweeper as well as the default. And obviously, we have the Warsaw, but you can see here you're also able to put on that older uh, AK-74 style muzzle brake there as well if you have that Revolution blueprint. So some good combinations you can make with this. So we'll go ahead and put on the Warsaw. Now the barrel we're actually going to leave to the standard barrel here we're not going to put anything on for this blueprint the tack laser again ads speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness are the pros the cons being that the laser is going to be visible to enemies but only when you're ads and so just be careful about where and when you're going to ads and you can see we get a, a darker variation of the tack laser there versus the base and some of the other blueprints that i have so we'll go ahead and select that now the optic for this weapon, we're going to go with the, the blueprint comes with the Viper reflex sight or the Cobra as it's known in real life. It's a Russian red dot sight. So this is going to assist with the precision sight picture, the cons being the ADS speed. So 
you can see the default and the other ones how it looks on these other blueprints that we have here so the warsaw pretty uh generic just a lighter version of the base lighter shade of black so we'll go ahead and select that we're going to leave the base stock here and then the final attachment is going to be the grip we're going to go with the simple grip tape this is going to assist with the ads speed and the sprint to fire speed the cons here being the aiming stability on this weapon so you can see the base as well as the warsaw so we get a little bit lighter tone to the grip tape there we'll go ahead and select that that is the final version of the blueprint with the attachments now obviously first to point out some major changes to this ak and i'll show you how it compares to the other ak in a moment but we have the polymer polymer style handguard here we have the actually brand new looking steel 30 round magazine for the 762 by 39 rounds there you can see a brand new looking magazine there of that steel magazine for the 762s it would be nice to get a polymer mag, but again, I think with the 40 round mags, you can get that polymer magazine on there as well. But to just have a standard 30 round magazine that looks new and not rustic is very nice. We also have the polymer style buttstock on the weapon there again, versus the old rustic looking wooden one that we have on the base AK-47. Now, this is also a very similar blueprint to the steel curtain. The receiver and everything is all the same. So what I'll do is I'll just take out the sight. So we have the stamped receiver versus the milled on the base ak-47 we also have the rib dust cover on there that we see from the akm onward to the 74 series as well so those are the changes again very similar to the steel curtain in that regard with the receiver that we have the stamped as well as the rib dust cover versus the milled for the ak so let me back out quick i'll put this optic back on and we're going to compare it just so you guys can see the difference between the base ak-47 setup so if i would look to go to the base ak-47 what i'll do is put out this fiber back on so this is what the ak-47 the standard one in game looks like with the same attachment so you can see obviously enormous cosmetic differences here and you can see the receiver is milled here versus stamped we also do, do not have the rib dust cover on this weapon and obviously all the wood on this just looks old you can see the differences with the magazine being an old rustic uh and rusty magazine on this everything's just old about this so it's nice to have an updated base ak-47 really is an akm here in game minus we don't have the 90 degree gas block or some other changes uh that we would see the ak's are pretty odd weapons in this game they're not all the parts are not 100%, but we have uh, different variations kind of mixed into the different builds. So I'll link the all AK build down below if you're more interested in the in-depth analysis of all the AKs. And I'll have to do an updated one of that going forward because we can make some nice ones with this weapon as well. So, again, this is the Warsaw. So this is how it looks now. If I were to put on a camouflage just so you guys can see how this looks on the weapon it's going to cover everything but the magazine and again you can just see how clean it looks versus the older ak-47 you can see how nice it looks we have that spetsnaz fall there for the canopy and then if i were to go some of the digitals we have like the spetsnaz red being that autumn dazzle looks pretty nice there as well and as well as so do some of the woodland camos on this weapon look pretty nice but again the standard black we can make a lot of different weapons with this now if i were to want to put a 5.5 magazine on and I'll, again i'll get more into this into the video but we can do something like this and now we essentially have an ak-74m for the most part uh obviously we don't have the 90 degree gas block and some other changes to the weapon but for the most part this is an ak-74m now with that 5.5 magazine on that weapon so go ahead and deselect that now in the gameplay before we get to that you're going to see i am going to add an attachment to this weapon so as you can see the base blueprint only has four attachments i am going to actually go ahead and add a ranger foregrip on this and you can see one nice change there is when i put that grip on the weapon it's not going to revert back to the old wooden top of the handguard there it's going to stay with the polymer handguard for the top uh versus on some of the other blueprints when you switch and put a grip on the bottom you get the older wooden top to that handguard so it's nice to see that they actually kept the, co the color the same on the weapon, didn't change it when we put that underbarrel attachment on the weapon. So this is what I'm going to be running in the gameplay. I just find it much easier to control the recoil. The recoil on this weapon with the 7.62 rounds is very hard to control, especially when you're going up against Grouse and, M and uh, M13s. So just keep that in mind. We'll be using that in today's gameplay with that underbarrel attachment. So this is the final design that you'll see in the gameplay. Now, really quick, a really nice design that I'm going to be covering in the, in the future here. If we use that Warsaw Blueprint, this is a more modernized tactical looking variation that you can do with it now that we have the polymer buttstock on the weapon and we also have the polymer base handguard on the weapon that we can make a lot of different 
builds of the weapon or nicer aesthetically pleasing builds of the weapon especially with that new steel magazine for the ak 47 for the 7.62 by 39 rounds so you can see here i'm just running and i'll cover this more in depth but i'm running a tactical suppressor the spets nozzle barrel which is that midwest industries m lock handguard we have the tactical laser again just the same as what we had on the warsaw we have a holographic sight on this weapon which is uh much more westernized in in line with the modernized AKs like the AK-12 and 15 platform. We're just keeping the standard polymer buttstock here and then the new Ranger foregrip. So obviously some other options, you could go back to our AK-12 build and do something like this. And now we have a very nice looking AK-15 or you could put on the 5.5 ammunition rounds like we said versus any of these different magazines. And you have a AK-74M or even really an AK-12, depending on what kind of attachment you want to put on. But a nice, more aesthetically pleasing looking version of the AK-47 we can make now that we have up-to-date polymer attachments to the weapon instead of the old rustic wooden one. So one other addition here, we obviously, you can see this with the attachment uh, versus the base AK-47. The, the red dot sight or the Cobra there is equipped with the we have the updated version of the dovetail mount on the left hand side of the weapon you can see how this looks where the attachment or the red dot is mounted on the left hand side on that dovetail versus the base ak-47 again just a much older design of that weapon so back to our warsaw blueprint so this is the warsaw blueprint as part of the security detail bundle for bail here you can see it in the final design so let's go ahead and jump into the recoil patterns of this weapon. Again, standard recoil for the AK-47. I didn't also did not notice any changes to the iron sights on this. It's going to be the same as we saw on the steel curtain. Obviously, the major changes we already went over being the magazine, the polymer handguard, and the polymer buttstock, bringing it more in line with a modernized AK platform for the AK-74M series of weapons. We don't have the 90-degree gas block, unfortunately, but... Again, as, as I said, they mix and match a lot of the attachments. So I'll link the AK-47 all build video down below if you're interested to see more in-depth analysis on a lot of that. But you can see overall how the weapon handles. Now, as we jump to the gameplay, I'm going to be using this in realism today. And I'll show you either one game or maybe a mix of a couple gameplays. I did end up getting a, a pretty nice game with a chopper. Not super high kill, but you can just... I'm trying to show you most effectively how I'm using the weapon, how it handles and performs. So... Now, as I said, I put that range of foregrip on there just to help control the recoil, and I think it makes a world of difference on this weapon. Without an underbarrel attachment, we have those 7.62 rounds. The weapon does kick pretty heavily, and again, you're going to get outgunned versus the the Grouse and the M13s and even the Kilos. Pretty much any, any weapon in the game is going to outperform you with the AK-47. The recoil is very heavy, even though we have attachments on here to help us with the ADS speed. We don't really have anything to mitigate the recoil. By, so by throwing on that range of foregrip, we're going to be able to help control that recoil a little bit more. And we're not really going to take any hits to the ADS speed since we have the simple grip tape, tape as well as the tack laser on this weapon. So let me know down below what you guys think of the security detail bundle. I'm a little disappointed that we don't have, like we saw with the Chuckawalla blueprint for the PP-19 Bison. If you didn't see that video, you can check that out on the channel. I did that a few days ago and I was really hoping... As I talked about in that video, I was really hoping that we would get something on that blueprint. The Chuckawalla had the Zenit RP1 charging handle, and it also had a rail dust cover on it versus the standard PP19, which did not have, it had a standard charging handle, and it just had a regular milled, or excuse me, a regular ribbed dust cover on the weapon, very similar to what we see on this AK platform. So I was really hoping, and maybe this is something we'll get in the future, if they did it with the PP19, I, I do expect it to happen with the AK-47. And to be honest, I'm a little disappointed that it didn't happen with the AK-47 quite yet. And But again, I really hope we see this in the future. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, gonna back you guys out really fast so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So here we have the Chuckawalla blueprint for Chuckawalla blueprint for the PP-19 Bison that we covered the other day. So again, we have a rib dust cover on the weapon. You can see the rib dust cover where the the red dot is mounted there. That monocle reflex light is mounted on the Picatinny's on top of the dust cover instead of a dovetail mount. And then we also have the charging handle is now a Zenit RPE-1 charging handle. You can see how much thicker it is versus the base. So that's what I'm talking about. Jump back to the gameplay here is I really wanted to see and I hope in the future we'll get the rail dust cover as well as the Zenit RP-1 charging handle 
on the AK-47 to bring it more into the line of the modern design. Then I also really want the some blueprint with an actual AK-12 buttstock on the weapon. So the blueprint for it could be for the FFS close quarter. Just give us that actual AK-12 buttstock so we can make a real AK-12 for the most part. So we get if we can get that rail dust cover, the Zenit RP-1 charging handle on the weapon. Ideally, a 90 degree gas block like we have with the Revolution Blueprint, a blueprint for the AK-12 buttstock, and we have an we have an actual AK-12 in game, and then we can put that 5.45 ammunition on there. And I'd like to see a AK-12 standard magazine or a polymer magazine for the 5.45 by 39. But hopefully, that's to come down the road uh, in season four. I heard rumors that season four was going to be focusing largely on Milsim, so maybe that's something we'll see at that point down the road is uh, that when we can finally get the actual ak-12 blueprint for the weapon so i was kind of hoping this would be it but again i'm not i'm not disappointed with this i'm really happy we have a modernized akm platform here as well as by putting the 545 magazines on there we have an ak-74m and again we can make a lot of different builds with this now that we have the polymer style handguard as well as the polymer style buttstock and we actually have finally that new steel magazine for the ak 47 holding those 762 by 39 rounds and i'll do another all ak build in the future we can really make some really neat designs with this now especially because we have the polymer style 40 round spetsnaz elite magazines on this weapon for choices as well so our ak possibilities just went way up so for all you ak lovers out there i know a lot of you guys were looking forward to this and again we have that really nice looking skin for bale which i'm definitely in love with that's one of my favorite skins right now finally gives us a a legit spetsnaz style skin so let me know what you guys think of the security detail bundle down below. I know some of you guys yesterday were telling me that you didn't have this in your shop yet. So go ahead and try to keep checking on this daily. I know I was looking daily until it finally came up for me with the update yesterday along with the ghost bundle. I had both of those in shop yesterday. But if you check every single day, it should come through the rotation soon for you if you don't have it yet. So sound off down below if you do not have this in your shop yet. Uh, maybe we'll get a tweet over to Joe Seacott or somebody over at Infinity Ward to give us some information on that. But I'll be covering this more so in an all AK build going forward because we're going to need to do an update for that as well as the M4 since we have had quite a bit of blueprints to allow us to customize the weapon further since we did those. I believe back in Season 1 is when I last did those. So we'll be going back, doing some dip different updated builds for that weapon as well as some more Frankensmithing. But again... Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay here for the Warsaw Blueprint. Again, the only change I made in this gameplay is that I did put that Ranger Foregrip on there to help us with that recoil. But you can see it performs really well, especially here in Realism Mosh Pit, which I'm, I'm really happy they finally brought back. And we can get those one-shot headshots, which definitely help with this gun. You're, you're going to be pretty outmatched with a lot of the weapons of the game if you're using the 7.62 rounds on this. But I think... With the right attachments, and I'll, I'll cover some additional builds in the future. With the right attachments, you can compete with just about any weapon. You just need to really kit this weapon out correctly. So, let me know down below what you think. Also, we have what's supposed to be a Warzone event coming tomorrow. I know a lot of rumors going around that maybe they're going to nuke the map. But we did have some intel leaked that there's some sort of event going on tomorrow in Warzone on May 21st. So, I'll be covering that tomorrow most likely as well. But, until next time, this is... Buckner Gaming with the Warsaw Blueprint for the AK-47, turning it into the AK, more modernized AKM, also the AK-74M platform. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out. Taking 